Hello everyone, I am Left, and today I want to talk to you guys about Build Adaptation. Now, Build Adaptation is a sort of esoteric thing that a lot of players don't understand or just flat out don't know about. The act of Build Adaptation would be, um, obviously, changing the course of your item build in a game depending on what the enemies are doing or what composition they have. So. The reason why I want to talk about this, and the reason I was like triggered to make a video about this, was when I was playing a ranked match a couple days ago as Arden. The enemy team drafted a Crystal Power Kestrel, and this prompted me to adapt my build. Now, the enemy team had a Catherine, so I still had to buy Crucible second, but as soon as I was done with that Crucible, I bought a Contraption right then and there. And then I bought an inventory full of stacks of five Scout Traps and started placing them everywhere. So, what ended up happening was, this Crystal Power Kestrel on the enemy team went 0-9 in the game, and we defeated the other team. Obviously, we killed her every single time she stepped near a scout trap, because as soon as you touch Crystal Kestrel, she dies. So, the moral of the story is, when you see something exploitable that the enemy composition is doing, or the way that they're building is, Obviously, you can adapt to that through the um, through changing the course of your item build and that can give you an advantage in the game and make you a better player overall. So adapting your build doesn't just have to be for a support. Say you're playing Vox. Now if you're playing Vox, you know that the meta build usually up until patch 2.7 was Tension Bow, Poison Shiv, and um, Breaking Point. But after nerfs to Tension Bow and Poison Shiv, that's no longer always the best build path. In a little bit, I'm going to show some screen, or I'm going to show some builds on the screen for Vox that depend on the situation that you're facing, because Vox has an incredibly diverse build path um, depending on what you're facing. Vox is just a hero that has a ton of different builds, weapon and crystal, that all work for different things. So. Anyways, say you're playing Vox, and you're going up against a team that is double assassin, Idris and Crystal Power Taka. Obviously, these guys are not going to be getting into long, drawn-out fights with you. So, the correct thing to do would be to say, Wow, I probably really don't need a Poison Shiv or a Breaking Point, because A, the fights aren't going to be for very long, and B, I'm probably not going to need that lifesteal. Now, if they had a Lyra or an Adagio, or a Grace, then yeah, you can probably keep the Poison Shiv. But against that double Assassin comp, you're going to need upfront damage to deal with their burst. If you start trying to use a, let's ramp up along a long, let's ramp up along an elongated fight build path against double Assassin, you're gonna die before you do any damage. So, what I would recommend is actually buying a Sorrow Blade for Vox to give you that upfront damage to deal with the Assassin's pressure. Um, so that when they come at you, if they don't execute it perfectly, you're going to come off much better than them because you will be able to hit them down very low because Assassins typically don't build defense. So, um, build adaptation, like I said before, is something that a lot of players don't know about even in being glorious. I didn't even know like how to adapt my build or when to adapt my build depending on what when I was in like Pinnacle of Awesome like this was like an entire year ago that I was still in POA but still um, when you learn how to adapt your build and when to adapt your build and why you're adapting your build depending on certain things that the enemies are doing um, that is when you level up as a player in general and you can start climbing the ranks even better if you're stuck if you're stagnated in the ranks Maybe you should start adapting your build instead of just saying, Oh, I must build this because it is the meta, or because Von C did it. I must build this forever. That's just simply not true, and that is how you stay exactly where you are in the ranks. So, things that can tip you off about how to adapt your build, it could be an item that the enemy buys, it could be a way that the enemy is leveling up their abilities, it could be just the certain heroes that the enemy team is playing, it could be even the fact that your roamer isn't really able to save you in most situations because they're not very good. Or it could be that an enemy is really not where they're supposed to be position-wise, and then you can buy a certain item to help you exploit, exploit that better. So, overall, um, actually wait, not overall. Let's go over actually those Vox screen, those Vox builds that I was going to talk about more in depth.
If you're facing a lot of armor with Vox, then you might want to build the Bone Saw. The Bone Saw gives you lots of attack speed and armor shred to deal with all of those metal jackets you're facing up against. I would also suggest either if maybe if the fights are actually start with sorrow blade and then go into the bone saw if the fights are drawing out pretty long go for a breaking point afterwards but if they aren't going for very long just build a tyrant's monocle instead maybe you're up against two sustain type heroes like maybe a lane rona and a jungle cruel in that case you would probably want to build a serpent's mask and then that into a poison shiv and a breaking point these fights are going to go for a very long time because Cruel and Rona have incredible sustain with barriers, fortified health, and self-healing. So the correct option here would be to give yourself sustain and dance around them with your sonic zoom until you can build up breaking point stacks on them. As two melee heroes, they will have a hard time catching you when you use sonic zoom unless the Cruel ults. So the correct build path here would actually be um, Serpent's Mask into Poison Shiv into Breaking Point. You can match their sustain and build up Breaking Point stacks while you're doing it. Now say you're playing into a triple melee comp, then you would change Vox's build on another Axis, Weapon and Crystal Power. Crystal Power Vox is not exactly very meta right now, but against certain triple melee comps he is devastating. Crystal Power Vox hasn't really gotten a lot of exposure, so the build I'm going to tell you to use here into Triple Melee is actually the same one that it used to be when Crystal Vox was meta, and that is Alternated Current into Broken Myth into Eve of Harvest. That's probably changed, but it's still a solid Vox build regardless of whether or not it's actually the best one. Lastly, if you're facing Double Assassin, it would probably be wise to just build a really upfront high damage critical strike build such as sorrow blade into tyrant's monocle into tornado trigger with attack speed bridging between the tyrant's monocle and tornado trigger so the rationale behind this one would be that you need to deal out as much damage as humanly possible as fast as you can because those assassins are always going to be trying to burst you down so the thing is if you try to build a sustained build against these assassins they're just going to blow you up before you can get the chance to sustain. Sustain usually works through defense, but the reason the sustain build works against the Cruel and the Rona is because Cruel and Rona are not actually heroes that will, are usually going to be bursting you down. So you're gonna have time to build up your breaking point stacks and get life steal from the Serpent's Mask against them. You're not gonna have time to get life steal from a Serpent's Mask or Poison Shiv against an Idris and a Crystal Taka. That is why I would suggest building um, Sorrow Blade, Tornado Trigger, and Tyrant's Monocle, because you can deal a lot of damage to them either as they are or before they are getting onto you. You can either force them to go away, force them to make a bad engage and end up dead by one of your teammates or you, and just generally deal a lot of damage to an assassin that doesn't have very much health. So overall, I hope this video was helpful. Um, if you have any questions about certain build adaptations that you might want to do, um, let me know in the comments below. If you didn't, if you missed something or didn't understand something, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to answer it. If you like what I'm doing, um, consider subscribing because it helps out and I'll see you guys all later.